Hello, and good morning from Steamboat. It's Will Kenish up here at 795 Spring Creek Circle. I am standing in the kitchen, uh, filming into the family room. It's got a uh, um, gas fireplace here. Double door opens onto a deck that faces to the, the south and west. Here's the stairway going down. And then we got the kitchen. Uh, kitchen has, uh, looks like concrete um, poured countertops, tall uppers, gas cooktop, stainless steel dishwasher and fridge, stainless oven, small microwave oven, and then like a farm style um, granite sink. Bronze finished hardware. And then they've got this uh, massive uh, vent, which is a little deceptive since that's the vent itself right in there. But it is cool looking, very artistic. There's a lot of artistic touches in here. Uh, it's, it's quite fun. Back behind me, they've got a little uh, table for breakfast eating. And then we've got the morning sun coming in, as you can, as you can see here. Morning sun's coming through into the breakfast nook and then out to uh, this direction. I'll, I'll head out onto the deck. Deck wraps around three sides of the building. I'm going to stay out of the sun here, but you can see through the scrub oak there the, the, the big mountain, the resort. And then out here on the deck, um, this is actually quite private. Nice deck built into the hill. Protected from the afternoon sun, big, uh, big overhangs here, heavy roof, and the deck wraps around this side. So this is the side that I just walked out of, and then it has a little stretch that goes around here, out to the front. So you can see here, here's the driveway, another deck here. This is a little bit more than four foot wide. We're right at four. And then over here you can see the uh, Emerald Mountain and Howlson Hill. So if they ever go back to doing 4th of July fireworks, we'll be able to, you'd be able to see the fireworks from your deck, which would be cool. Good place to see things for uh, Winter Carnival. And then I'll go inside. Okay, continuing on the main floor. Uh, you come up the stairs and you've got, uh, got a couple of closets. So space here, this would be set up as a pantry. Then another closet here. This would be used uh, for your laundry, washer and dryer. Big units, vented, lighting in there. And then here at the top of the stairs, they've got this set up as uh, your linen closet. And then at the hallway here, travertine floors, granite slab countertop, vessel sink, mirror, built-in shower with uh, like a European style glass, glass door, thick hardware there, brush nickel hardware. You can see the ceiling has a uh, tongue and groove, a pine ceiling. And so here's the hallway. I uh, forgot to point out the flooring. It's a cherry flooring through most of the, the, the upper floor, the main living floor. And uh, the floor looks like it's in pretty good shape, except it could use a, a coat of poly. And here is the, uh, the master. Going into the master, we've got a decent size room. Looks like it's probably 16 foot. 
tongue and groove ceilings. The, the walls all have like a textured, uh, hand troweled textured finish, which was done with multiple colors, gives it a lot of dimension. The master has a door that goes on to the back deck that I was out on earlier. Has a little entrance here to the master uh, closet, which is to the right. And, and they've obviously built this with his and her closets. Uh, here's her closet. Here's his closet. Yep. And then the uh, master bath has uh, looks like a uh, quartz style sink, stool, subway style tiles, a nice jacuzzi style tub in here, and then um, tile up the wall. And then they've set up a uh, shower enclosure with a rod. And then again, tongue and groove on the ceiling. So here's the hardware. Really comfortable master. Little closet for your linens and so on. Cherry, cherry wood closet and so on. I'll head downstairs. Stayed on the main floor. Failed to show the second bedroom on the main floor. So second bedroom is here. Decent size room, looks like it's a 11 by 12, uh, glass windows. The, this is the view that faces out towards uh, Emerald Mountain and Howelson Hill. Right now the colors are in bloom, it's still beautiful up here. Good sized closet here, that's definitely uh, like six foot wide, has some built in shelving adjustable shelving and, and style wood rather than wire. The doors here on the main floor are all uh, solid wood doors and they have kind of a, a distressed look about them. The hardware is like an old school iron look on the hardware. All right, and then you come out and you're in the family room. Okay, I am outside at what would most likely be used as your main entrance. So the driveway comes up. Here's the entrance to the garage. And here's the, the front door. So you come in the front door and there's a very nice uh, uh, mudroom style here. Nice size, you could put in a, a bench. Um, they've got their, their coat hooks here on the wall. And then in the stairs, the stairs go up to the main living area. And so you've got a great uh, tile area for coming in with your wet boots and everything else. It's really a nice feature. I want to keep an eye out for that here in Steamboat. Stairs go up. Uh, as you can see, the flooring on the, the stairs is a solid wood. It's cherry. It's quite nice. And then I'm in the lower uh, family room. In the lower family room, the door here goes to the garage. Over here, we've got a bedroom. Here is a bathroom. We'll go into the bedroom here. The flooring appears to be like a cork. It's kind of poorly installed or, or loose feeling. It feels bowed in spots, but um, I'm not a fan of the flooring in this space. But aside from that, everything else has got a lot of artistic touches. We got a double bunk here. Um, they're using this built-in as their closet space. It's got shelving below, closet there, window. This appears like it would meet egress. It goes into a, a window well out of timbers. And spinning around here, so here's the entrance. It goes back to that family room. Again, the artistic touches with the shelves being offset. Um, here we've got tongue and groove on the ceiling, but rather than like a clean pine, this is a, a beetle kill. And then coming back out to the family room. Family room has a TV mounted on the wall. 
adjustable shelving for a library, and then they've got a uh, Murphy bed. So these guys flip out as the feet of the Murphy bed, and the whole thing folds out. So you've got uh, space for guests when they come to visit with a pretty, pretty cool library style bookcase and system. And over here is the door to the garage. Garage has hooks and shelves. It's a, it's a one car garage, but it does have room here for additional storage or workbench or whatever is needed. Over here, they've got a, a cubby for um, same thing. Whatever storage or, or a workbench you want to set up. Here's the electrical panel. Electrical panel. I don't know, you're probably not an electrician. Looks like it's nice and clean. There is room in the panel if you wanted to do any improvements. So I'm still in the garage. Here in the garage, they've got their tankless water heater. Uh, it's a Noritz brand. Not familiar with that brand, but plumbing in here looks like it's nice and clean. Uh, done well. Vented up here. So that looks like a nice feature. Okay, this is the storage uh, underneath the stairway. This is where the water main comes into the house. So you'd flip the valve if you ever had any plumbing issues. Drywalled, finished, looks pretty clean. Okay, this is the bathroom on the ground floor, lower floor. Has a nice IKEA style vanity, solid surface, vanity top, small mirror, uh, like rustic or rusty style uh, vanity light and then again the the euro style on the shower you can see here it actually has a heavy glass it's kind of see-through and there is no door on the shower um, but it's nice and deep so you'd never have any water splashing out or minimal water splashing out on the floor so tile on the walls and ceiling and then tile here in a recessed cubby with a mosaic style and then that same mosaic is on the floor which looks like decent craftsmanship good appears like this it has a steam outlet which is unusual for uh oh yeah Steam controls here, but there's no door. So that's a little unusual to not have a, a, a door enclosure for a steam room. And then off of the bathroom is a storage area. Um, they've got it set up with what appears like would be a, a wine rack here, workbench, And then storage shelving here, all up to the ceiling, nice place to store a bunch of stuff. Here is the steamer unit for the shower. Okay, back up in the main family room. I think this is definitely the highlight spot for, for this house. Uh, it's comfortable, gets plenty of light, uh, plenty of sunshine. With lots of wood trim, um, custom finishes on the wall. I think those are all nice touches. The, the house has uh, a really great feel. A lot of the things they've done, if you like the character traits of the, of the um, like distressed doors and things like that, it, it really feels kind of artistic in that sense. The location here is awesome. I, I love it in this spot. You could uh, hop on your bike and be to the middle school 
or be to uh, the high school in, in no time. The high school is literally one and a half blocks away and the middle school is about two, two and a half blocks away, which is awesome. The, uh, you could hop on your bike and be downtown. You're probably eight, uh, uh, 10 blocks from downtown. And so it just has a, a really great location for access to just about everything in town. You are away from the mountain itself, so if you're uh, considering this mainly for access to the resort, it might not be the first option, but it certainly does have a lot of great conveniences here. Um, it's a three bed, three bath, so you got two bathrooms on the main floor, one at the hall and one in the master, and then downstairs you've got the, uh, the bathroom with a bedroom, and you've got a built-in uh, guest bed. In with the Murphy Murphy bed space so a lot of great conveniences um, I looked around for anything that was a concern looks like all of the plumbing is done well electrical looks like it's done well I don't see any evidence of structural issues or anything else like that um, so a lot of good things going on here it's uh, a little bit of a hodgepodge with the different trims and things like that they have kind of a a contemporary feel in the basement space and then they've got more of this rustic uh, feel up here and so th those are a little unusual but in general I like a lot of things about this house all right all done